uh, thank you for agreeing to meet us today. Uh, I would like to, for our audience to know, I would like for you to start with your name and um, your study here. Can you tell us about yourself a little bit? Uh, my name is Michael David. I'm studying special engineering here at the University of Twente. Mm -hmm. um, I come from Namibia. Yeah. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I would like to take you back from like, before you come here. Uh, so how did you apply here? Why did you want to be here? Uh, how did it all pop up and then how was the path? How did it go? How did you apply? Well, first of all, um, in Namibia there are a lot of um, people, mm -hmm. including my mentor, is also from the University of Twente. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it kind of set me uh, a pathway on how and where to go when I want to do the master. So already from then, I envisaged myself also uh, being an IDC product. So I applied here. So I got it. So. That means you have some information. You got some information in them. Yeah, I did. I did get information from interesting people from back home. So how did you find it? Did you expect it as you wanted, or was it less, more? How did you find it? I mean, it was not uh, different from what I've heard from people saying mm -hmm. and what I've read from the internet. So it wasn't anything um, different from what I already. So on the internet. Interesting. That's nice. Uh, it's nice to hear that you find it as you expected. Uh, I also would like to ask, like, uh, how long have you been here, and also what were the challenges so far, including the situation we're in right now. Oh, okay. Um, I came in twenty. Um, came on the twenty third of August, twenty nineteen. So I'm mm -hmm. here for roughly ten. Ten months from here. Yeah. Um, about coming here, I didn't really have anything that say cultural shock or anything except from the Dutch weather. Yeah, of course. Um, I stay at the coast in Namibia, so it's a bit humid there and it's a bit cold, but not as cold as this. So, yeah, the weather was challenging for me, but then I also um, I just adapted. I'm not used to going to school in the rain and everything biking and all these kind of things. Uh, but it's actually a good thing, except that now it's really disturbed. Everything is disturbed by the corona situation. And you can't blame it on anyone. But um, it, it's something that we, I think we just have to live with. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Um, so it wasn't that challenging thing, but the international environment, I was, I was thinking maybe that would be challenging for you because there are a lot of uh, uh, people from different places. But th the fact that you had information previously, I think that helped. So it was all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think also one thing that really helped was um, before I came here, I was an exchange student. So um, I'm kind of um, already exposed to being away from home with oh. other international students. So maybe that could have also helped. Nice. Okay, that's that's really cool. Um, okay, what did you learn here besides the academic things we get from the university? What are the things you would say I learned this? Uh, what are the things? <laughs> um, I learned how to value time. Yeah, uh, because here everything is precise, so time is really something that needs to be taken seriously. And that have also helped me, like in my inner self, to kind of um, adjust uh, my way of living. Like not just if I say there's a meeting at two, then I come at um, fifteen minutes past two. So here, everything you are late with one minute, everything is gone. <laughs> Be the train, the bus, mm -hmm. or anything, even class, you miss ten minutes. It's like you miss the whole class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I think that's something to take in even for our audience. It's, it's, I think it's a very valuable thing. Um, how is quarantine doing? By the way, uh, everybody who's following this, uh, you probably noticed that we're not that far away, maybe 1.5. It's because um, we have been quarantined together in the same environment. 
So that's why, but we still maintain our distance, we say it ourselves uh, at all times. Uh, I'd like to mention that. Uh, so how is quarantine? How do you express it as a student? Uh, and then probably a lot of virtual meetings in school classes. What do you think? Yeah, actually it came out, um, it's actually going well. Um, at first I was very, uh, I was very, uh, I'll say, say um, I was a bit scared on how this thing is going to turn out. But it actually turned out to be quite organized. I mean, I will say thank you to the administration for ITC, UG. They are really doing the most. And um, yeah, they, they are a lot of things that are organized to keep us going. Um, although we don't see each other, I mean, these visual things. Um, it, it's something that we, I think myself, I'm, I have adapted to. And I also uh, started to do other things other than just uh, getting bored in the room. So I, mm -hmm. I do like um, uh, test classes, I do other things also online. So, yeah. Interesting. Uh, that's also a way, I think, for us to to get to know the world without having to go in person, but virtually. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. Actually, the one thing that I can also mention is really there was a time I had um, I had to do an interview in the neighborhood. So we did that online. So it's something that uh, amidst the corona situation, there are still other alternatives that can mm -hmm. um, that one can use. And it actually came out well. More like just a normal interview that you do on the street, but we did it online and it worked. Yeah, awesome. It's a very interesting thing. Uh, so I'm assuming, uh, so you said you've been here for almost a year now, so now there is no more freshman, you're going to be a senior uh, starting uh, this coming September. So how do you think you apply all this knowledge you seek, uh, not only the academical, but also the things you learn from the environment? What are you thinking, what, what are you going to do with that? Well, there is a lot, there is a lot that I've seen. There is a lot that I've learned, and it's, it's, it depends on how, on where I find myself. Afterwards. So, but really, there, there is, there are things in the pipeline that I need to do, back in my country, or if I have to stay here, I'm still learning, and of course, I will apply the knowledge and everything that I've seen. Interesting. And uh, I'd like to mention one thing. I know uh, David is one of the very active students uh, uh, we have. So I, I'd like to hear something about that. I, I'm sure our the audiences would like to hear. People who can learn from this would love to hear. Um, you've been in different activities. Can you tell us all about that environment? How do you find it? Or what interests you to do all of that? And then what do you think overall the, the activities you've been doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, first thing, um, I'm in the faculty council. I'm involved in student politics. Um, most recently, I also campaigned for university council. Um, yeah, but uh, for now, um, I'm serving as a vice chair in the faculty council. And um, we did a lot of things, actually. Uh, it was very tough um, things that we had to do for students, for me, for my colleagues in the corona situation and yeah, it's, it's something that um, students should take up because mm -hmm. when we come here we do just books and forget that we need to do it ourselves. Yeah. So, build yourself in the political arena or just align yourself to what's happening and all that. So you build yourself for hopefully for good afternoon. Interesting. I think that's a very interesting uh, thing that we can share because yeah, you mentioned people need to develop themselves. It's not just academic, but also in every aspect they can they can do all the things that they are inspired to do, all their hobbies and everything. They need to, as you mentioned before, they just have to make time management and then yeah. make sure to do the things they need to do. This is so interesting. 
so let me give you a chance, lastly, what kind of message would you like uh, to transfer to the young people, youth, government, to the world, related to what to what we are facing right now and also in general? What kind of message would you like to transfer for whoever is listening to this? Um, well, I, I would say um, people should not be too reluctant because um, now that we have seen this corona situation, we have seen that it's, um, the good things don't really last. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes we have to operate uh, outside our usual being. Yeah, so the good thing, the, the better uh, way to do it is to adjust yourself to the situation that you find yourself in so that you're not, um, you, you don't struggle to do uh, things that you do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for the young people, I would say, um, mm -hmm. I think the time is now. With this corona situation has really opened up so many things. Yeah. Uh, they've opened up so many doors, yeah. and um, it's 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 for us to see um, how do you want the future to be. Interesting. Yeah. How do you want the future to be? So if you are not working toward that future, um, then you are delaying what you want to see in the future. Exactly. I think yeah. this, those are very interesting points. Where are the places you like here? Well, I visited a lot of places. Okay. I uh, visited Amsterdam, I visited Azone. Okay. Um, yeah, I've traveled around. This place is a good place. I, it's, I it's, like it's it. It's, it's, really, it's really good on the outskirts. Mm -hmm. You should, you should. Should say it sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's um, actually, and, 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 and ever since I came here, I've started to appreciate nature mm -hmm. because, um, especially, especially in the corona situation, yeah. um, sometimes you just need to go out for a walk mm -hmm. in the park, and you don't have anybody to talk to. You just maybe talking to the plants, yeah. the trees, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> the beds. So uh, you see all these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, I've started to appreciate nature. Interesting. Things. Yeah. Actually, I think the whole elements have a good water system. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, they put water to bring you and all the things. Yeah. Something to take away, yeah, especially for yeah. developing countries. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, same. I feel like there is a lot. There is a lot we can actually even simple things we can do back like home and stuff. Yeah, there are a lot of awesome stuff. So I'm really interesting. Yeah, really interesting too. Thank you so much, David, for your time. Uh, everybody will. Uh, I'm sure you've learned something from David. Uh, there's more to come. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to come with more awesome stuff. Stay, everybody. Thank you for today. <laughs>